So fellow paint huffers, Wyatt Dirt and the Not So Earth, and today we're going to be doing another spray paint tutorial. Um, before we get into it, this one's going to be pre-recorded, and I'm going to release this one once I hit my 250th subscriber. So before we get into any of the colors, anything that's needed, I just want to take the time to say thank each and every, to thank each and every one of you um, guys that have shared it in different Facebook groups, um, guys that have just shared the links on their own in uh, group chats, you know, stuff like that. Uh, with their buddies, uh, you know, word of mouth, um, just anybody who's watching the suggestions. Uh, I just want to thank everybody because in a grand scheme of things, you know, 250 subscribers on a YouTube channel where I teach people how to spray paint stuff isn't, you know, it doesn't get me anywhere in life, but uh, just for a little small, you know, um, I don't know, idea that I had, I mean, this, this grew into a lot more. The M81 videos almost had 10,000 views in less than a month, and you know that, that's something I would have never thought. So, as a treat, uh, I'm gonna give y'all the uh, donut slash ice cream paint job. So, I'm not sure why, but this is pretty popular. I've seen it on. I don't know. It's popular for some reason. I just can't wrap my head around it. But you know, after playing around with it a little bit today. It, it, it kind of fornicates. It, it, it's a pretty cool. That's a pretty cool pattern, I must admit. But I've seen it from a uh, Cerakote guys that do Cerakote. I've seen them do small batch Olites in this pattern. I've seen guys Cerakote their staccatos in this pattern. I've seen you know small batch Microtex in this pattern. Like I've seen a whole bunch of EDC stuff in this pattern for some reason. And you know what? I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. It's not a complicated pattern. Uh, it might look like it, but it's actually pretty easy. You know, finding the colors that kind of match up a little bit might be the hard part, but it's not too terrible. But to help you all out, I went out to Hobby Lobby today and I bought all the same colors, all the same brand. So if y'all have a Hobby Lobby nearby, um, I'm pretty sure you can, I think you can order online uh, through Hobby Lobby and have it shipped to the store. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I don't really shop online. I, I don't really go to Hobby Lobby often. That's pretty much the only reason I go is for paint. But we're going to go through the colors that we can use. So this one is going to require, I'm using a little bit more color in this one. Uh, most of it's going to be for the sprinkles. Uh, but in terms of the main colors, you only need two main colors. So we're going to go through the first one. First one is going to be Iron Lack Flirt. And this is going to be a pink color. This is going to be the icing slash ice cream. The next one for the cone slash bottom of the donut, we're going to have Mocha, which is kind of a in between tan and FDE, I'd say. Um, it's a really nice color. I don't like brown and tan and FDE and stuff, but I'd, I'd, I'd paint a rifle on that. Uh, going up to our sprinkles, you can kind of just look at a can of sprinkles, see what comes in it, but that's kind of what I did. Um, so I come up with purple. This is eggplant. Next one is, I already had this one. Uh, it looks good in there, it gives a nice contrast. This is Huey. Next up is Halloween, which is an orange. And we have Eureka, which is a yellow. And then Smurf, which should be pretty self-explanatory without seeing it, and that one's gonna be blue. So, uh, and another thing that I'm gonna go over that you're gonna need, um, we're gonna be using both the painter's tape stencils, and we're going to be doing our own place and spray stencils. Uh, I highly recommend, I'm going to show you the other side because I haven't played around with this side, so you can see the holes a little bit better. I recommend doing this for the sprinkles. Um, maybe when you do y'alls, take y'alls and spread y'all out a little bit more, especially if you don't have good hand-eye coordination, because you don't want to stick it on a spot and then go to spray it and say you're aiming for this sprinkle right here, and your hand-eye coordination is off, so you spray this one and now you got a sprinkle in the bottom of the cone or the uh, donut part. You know, it's not the end of the world. You know, when they spray sprinkles on there, they kind of land wherever they want. But, you know, if you want to get it to where everything's on the uh, on the kind of icing or ice cream, then this would be the way to go. Now, you also don't have to use the brown or tan uh, to do the bottom of the donut ice cream cone or whatever. I've seen a lot of it done just pure, the pure pink. Uh, with like a blue accent for say the base plate of the mag it'll be like the blue that you use for the sprinkle 
but you kind of do it however you want. If you want to do it all paint because it's easier and you don't want to deal with the uh, painter state and you just want to do something like this, go right ahead. It's your stuff. You make it look cool. So what we're going to be painting today, um, I've been having me a little drinky drink, so I'm not going to be taking apart guns and all that and be responsible. So I just have my Filster Floodlight X300 holster. Um, I have a tier one MSP uh, flex holster, which so I don't really carry this anymore, but every now and then I will carry this because that MSP is, lack of a better word, it's a unit. So, I mean, it, it, it gets a lot to be carried uh, at times. So sometimes I'll take this and throw this in there and then this works with a PL350 with some guns. Uh, not all, some combos that don't work all that great, but uh, my PDP and my 509T, it works fine. So, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to take this, we're going to go through our first color. I'm going to show you all the first set of stencils that we need if you're going to be doing a cone pattern or the bottom of the donut pattern, and we're going to get on to it. Okay, so it is the next day, and we are finally going to go on to the first step. Um, put my phone charging because it was starting to die after I did the first section of the video. And... Yeah, the music coming on the Bluetooth speaker, there was a bunch of bangers back to back, and uh, it kept the alcohol flowing, and yeah, so it's the next day and I'm hung over, so let's paint some stuff. So we're going to walk through our first step, for real this time. The first step should be paint, and uh, seeing this is a special video for y'all, I'm going to go ahead and do it both ways. Um, I'm going to do one with just the uh, ball paint and the other side where it's the uh, brown at the bottom like the ice cream or the bottom of the donut, whatever. And we got some pink noodle gels right here. It'll be all right. It's not the end of the world. Flip that out. Just going to go ahead and give it... Cover it up with paint. Alright, so I got first layer of paint done. Um, go ahead, let that dry. I'm probably going to put, do like normal two or three layers on there. And uh, go on to the next step after that dries. Alright, so we got all our paint coats. Those are nice and dry. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the stencil because I usually don't do that. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna show you all the stencil that I'm using. So, being that this is a holster, there's no top. I don't have to wrap around on something like a pistol slide or a rifle rail, anything like that. So, being it's just a holster, I have it cut just flush on the top, flat line. And that's gonna, what it's gonna do is just come up to right here to make sure everything here is pink. Now, if you are doing something like I said, like a uh, pistol slide, rifle, something like that, you'd wanna take this and make basically double this make a reverse image of it you can either do it exactly the same as it is here or you can make it completely random on the other side but you want to do it to where it's going to wrap around and uh, all you're going to do is take the middle put it in the middle of the project so the middle of the pistol slide rifle slide and it's going to give you even coverage on both sides so that's the stencil we're going to be using i'm going to go ahead and put that on and we're going to get to the second color all right, so we got a stencil laid down. You can do it like you do every time. You can make sure that your stencil is sitting nice and flat along the edges. You want to sit down that way you don't get a lot of bleed through. And I have the back kind of being. I'm gonna show y'all how to do it with the uh, with the if you're doing it all solid. I got the back taped up so I don't get a bunch of overspray on it. So I'm gonna go ahead with our next color for me. It's gonna be the Iron Light Mocha. It's going to be our brown. This is what's going to make the bottom of the donut or the waffle cone for the ice cream, depending on how you interpret this. Alright, that's our first coat down. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. I'm going to put about uh, two or three more on there, then we're going to go ahead to the next step, adding the sprinkles. Okay, so if you're doing the 
waffle cone bottom of the donut portion like I'm doing. Uh, you're going to want to take your stencil off at this point. And what you should be left with is something similar to this. All right, so you got your drips. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the sprinkles. Um, for, like I said in the beginning, it's best to use something like this, a place and spray stencil, where you'll be able to get it, take it, and put it on uh, however you need it. You can randomize them as such. But to maybe so y'all can see it a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'll go ahead and do it on the front. Uh, I'll just do the back later and show y'all off camera. We'll do the back off camera and show y'all. So you're going to want to go ahead and that's when you start grabbing all of your different colors that you'll be using for sprinkles. These cans are hot. Look at this hot in here. And it's not even fully summer yet, which sucks. All right, anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my purple. This will be the iron like eggplant. And I'm just going to find a random flat spot. It's going to be easier like that if you can put it on a perfectly flat spot. And go ahead and hold it in place. Just do one little spray. All right, so one sprinkle down. And if you want, you can... Uh, you can have them in an order. So you want to do purple, then blue, and then yellow, then orange, or have them all lined up, and then do one, flip around, do another one, flip around, do another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add on all my uh, sprinkles, show y'all everything when we finish. All right guys, so this video is taking me a lot longer to do than I thought it would. We are finally on the third day, but the third day of filming here is the reveal. So this is gonna be the if you're doing the, the comb slash bottom of the donut and this is going to be minus the velcro which you should be looking at when you do the just all pink and here is a bonus BCM grip that I've been playing with and yeah so I took that yesterday I took I, when I did the floodlight that's when I finished actually finished it but I didn't get to do the outro uh, this part here talking about it uh, had a range day set up before one of our buddies moves out of state and I brought it over there and I'm probably gonna be doing a bunch of stuff for him in that uh, I'm about to have to do a bunch of ammo cans for one buddy and you know what I really don't mind it because that that fornicates right there so anyways um, as you can see it's not a very complicated pattern it just takes a lot of colors due to the sprinkles and you can get as fancy or as boring as you want with it you know um, you can go ahead and just all pink it and then sprinkles and it'd be done in no time or you can get a little bit more fancy and do what would be the waffle cone or the bottom of the donut so guys uh, before we go I'd like to thank all y'all because like I said this could be um, uploaded for the 250th uh, once I hit the 250th subscriber and that's coming a lot sooner than I thought it would have um, as of Starting this video, this portion of the video, I'm already at 210, so I'm 40 away. Yeah, 40, math, you're mathing. Good for me. But 40 away, but I want to thank y'all for getting me to 250. Um, like I said in the beginning, it, it, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't mean a lot, but for somebody that's just sitting here and doing some showing people how to spray paint, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. And then getting, I won't say, 10,000 views right now for the M81 alone so that's that's pretty awesome and I want to thank all of y'all anybody who shared it uh, anybody who, who used my videos and I've been able to help them out you know I want to try to I'm gonna try to mix them up a little bit kind of show the process a little bit better because the process is looking at my previous videos it is kind of lacking a little bit but um, working on it I'm not a professional photographer I'm not a professional editor so it's kind of, like I said, it's just one of those things that I'm trying to squeeze in while, try, while trying to do 500 other things. But uh, thank you all again. Uh, if you're on Facebook, go check out that school and I spray paint it. I also seem to have an Instagram page too. So go check that one out if you're on Instagram. Uh, if you're in the Facebook group, go ahead and post your uh, spray paint jobs. Doesn't have to be, you know, anything. Uh, doesn't have to be a gun. It could be a wholesale like that or just part of a gun or, you know, just 
phone case, you know, whatever. World's your oyster there. So thank y'all guys. Uh, until the next time, see y'all later.